There are many lessons available in support of the effective implementation of the KT processes. Here is some advice to others who may be considering how to install a similar improvement initiative. Well, it's important that it's driven from the top down because the managers have to commit their time and have to commit their staff's time when you need to do some analysis, when you're looking at problems or when you're, when you're making decisions, you need the right people at the table. And the manager commitment is what drives that. So when we have a critical problem that we need to resolve, uh, the managers fully committed make sure that their people are at the table to provide the right information to get to that problem solution very quickly and efficiently. Well, for upper management, I think the key advantage is they can know that they can rely on any of the people that have been trained to make consistent problem analysis and or decisions. Uh, they're documented, they're, uh, they're visual, they can see it, they can work, work through it, and the, and the upper management's also been trained in the process so they can follow them through. The, the advice I would give to them is to create the shared need, the shared understanding amongst everyone of the value of that, and then deploy that. But you, you really have to in, integrate it with your business processes, not just to do the education and, and leave it to grow on its own. You have to integrate it with your business processes, customize your typical tools that you use, whether it's evaluating and, and prioritizing resources or solving problems inside uh, complex industrial environments or in the office environments. It's applicable across all, all those. We're going to uh, continue to fully integrate, more fully integrate it in every business aspect we have. Well, again, as whether it's a budgeting and prioritization of that budget, capital evaluation, resource evaluation, decision making on new assets, decision making on re revision of existing assets, complying with new environmental regulations. How do we meet the customer's demand over the next one, two to 30 years of, of energy, both gas and electric. I think some of the keys was for implementation of the KT process was to get the champions of the process, get those people that wanted to volunteer to be part of that, identify the people that were probably more successful at executing troubleshooting for your sites and that type of thing, make them the champions, put them through the schooling. Well, Time constraints are always going to be a factor. Um, you, there's LCOs all the way down to eight to ten hours. Uh, what you typically do is you gather the information you can, and you make some decisions on what types of activities the maintenance departments can pursue um, to try to gather more information for you, and you send them out on their way to do that. And in parallel, you're given enough time to um, put together the KT type analysis. And in some cases, KT has only taken us an hour to do. In some cases, it's taken us a day or two. So, I mean, it depends on the complexity of the situation, and that, that's where KT comes in. Well, the first piece of advice I give a new plant starting up in the Captain Trigger process is make sure that from the mechanic in the field all the way up to the senior manager that they're at least exposed to the, the terminology, what Kepner Traigle is trying to do for you, and uh, to try to put them in the right framework. Well, I think you have to start with the, uh, start with the engineering staff, and uh, typically they'll see the advantages you know, of it as they, as they go through the uh, process. And then probably the best thing to do is to get, a, uh, get an early win by using the process on, a, uh, on an issue or a problem that might have been eluding the staff for quite a while. And I think the uh, one success will, will cause the next success to, uh, to come down. At, at Exelon, we use a process of a corporate challenge where uh, the, uh, the corporate officers or corporate technical folks will uh, uh, get in on a conference call with us or may come here and we have a meeting with our senior management, the technical professionals that are involved with the issue, and the corporation, which consi uh, consists of not only corporate officers, uh, higher, man higher level management people, but also the technical professionals that are at corporate, that are the subject matter experts, they'll challenge us on what we have developed or what process we're taking uh, to solve a particular problem. Uh, and they'll make the, and as they do that challenge, they'll be providing feedback on how, what direction we should be going. Uh, many times in that, uh, in that process, uh, we'll be challenged to, we'll be asked, have we performed a Kepner-Trago?